This is VF1 Skull Angel, and you are looking at my 1994 Chevy Corvette LT1. It has the ZF six speed transmission. The car has approximately 96,000, just under a, a hair under 97,000 miles. It was adult owned before me. I bought it for, guess the price. Some of you are thinking in the condition it's in, mid sevens, high sixes. I actually got this car for $3,600 total and that included all smog, repairs, a catalytic converter replacement, and all the back fees in California. This car actually was owned by an older woman whom the shop that took it in to repair it, um, she ended up passing away just to make a long story short and it sat in a shop for about two years out in Los Angeles. And I seen it on Craigslist for about 30, for just about 3,200 um, because the shop was taking a loss on it. So I traveled from San Diego to Los Angeles Drove it around, fell in love with it, so I paid the man, you know, his money. And uh, Rosita Engines, there were some good people there, and they cut me a good deal. They went out of their way to make things right. They didn't sell me on a scam. And it was a legit car in the end. Unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to get rid of this car here in the near future due to personal circumstances. But, since owning it, I've driven maybe about 2,000 miles on it. Um, and I tell you what, folks, I mean, this is a really good car if you're looking for something performance-oriented. Um, again, this is not a for sale video, but, you know, it kind of is at the same time. Um, you know, it's like my introductory into the, inter excuse my language on this one, I cannot pronounce that, but it's my introduction into the C4 wor world as well as my departure for a little while. Um, I've driven quite a few C4s. I've driven them all. I've even driven an LS swapped, uh, as you've seen on my other videos, ZF Doc's car. He had an LS one. This is an LT one. Now, the reason why these cars aren't too popular is because they're very sophisticated with their electrical system. Um, for instance, if you don't know too much about electrical systems, I don't recommend buying these, and this is why these cars aren't that popular. Um, for one, the OptiSpark is located, which is the distributor system, it's located underneath the water pump system. I've actually had the pleasure of doing that, and I tell you what, it's a very, very tedious job to do. Um, you really have to be confident about what you're doing. Um, you have to pull off the water pump. Essentially, you have to pull off the whole front end of your car. Uh, not front end of your car, excuse me, the whole front end of your motor. And, you know, pretty much it's a real tedious job. And in my honest to God opinion, if you're not mechanically inclined or if you're not willing to learn, I don't recommend getting these cars. I would recommend just spending the extra $2,000 to go get yourself an LS1 Corvette where life is going to be a little bit more simplified and there's not going to be as many dependability issues. You know, and the thing with the C5s are is they're a little bit more refined. Um, the LS1, you just can't go wrong with that. Uh, that motor regardless of what it's in. But don't get me wrong though, these LT1s, you know, you can't go wrong with them. There's a lot you can do with them, but the thing about the LS1, I mean the LT1s, it's it's so limited with the Opti Sparks, um, and they go so frequently. It's not uncommon for a guy to pick one of these up, and within a year spend well over four thousand dollars replacing Opti Spark after Opti Spark. You know, my advice to anybody looking to get into LT1s, you really have to master the technique of replacing your Opti Spark. And if nobody knows what an Opti Spark is, I highly recommend you Google it, you do research on the process to get the OptiSpark replaced. Otherwise, you're going to get real frustrated, and that's probably one of the reasons why the C4 Corvette has such 
a cult following of haters. You know, people will say, oh, it is the worst Corvette ever made. You know, it is the absolute worst one ever made. And a lot of the reasons it's because a lot of people cannot solve some of the issues that come with these cars. So they put them up for sale, they badmouth them. You know, they go out, they buy themselves an LS1 Camaro and they're just badmouthing C4s. I chose to buy a C4 because I thought it was a good car for the money. And really folks, for about the price of a used Honda Civic, you're gonna get a world-class performer for basically pennies on the dollar. So, it really depends on, you know, what you're looking for out of a car. Hi. Hi. So this is Val Vista Lakes, by the way, folks. Very beautiful part of Arizona. And, you know, believe it or not, you can afford one of these houses for a lot less than what you'd pay back in San Diego. You know, I mean, it looks like something out of Florida. So a little sidetrack there, this is a beautiful area. I'm gonna get into more detail about Arizona in future videos, but back to my point with C4s, you're getting a world-class performing car for virtually the price of a Honda Civic. You know, I mean, granted, yeah, you could buy a better condition C4 for about 7,500. You know, it's not gonna give you any issues. You're gonna be able to drive that car anywhere from here to New York City. You know, and my honest opinion, I think they're better than Fox Body Mustangs in the sense that, for instance, if a Ferrari shows up to an autocross, you know, you're, you got the right stuff to take them on, both in a straight line and, in, and around the corners. Fox Body Mustang, don't get me wrong, guys, I'm not a hater of Fox Body Mustangs, but I really wouldn't prefer a Fox body over a C4 when it comes to handling and you know straight line performance you get the best of both worlds with this car Fox body don't get me wrong there's performance parts out there you can buy suspension kits for them you can do an LS1 swap to them and they're pretty fast cars but I think this out of the box really gives you a good performance platform to start with um, another reason why I chose this car was for one it was one of my dream cars growing up and two when I had the opportunity to drive the C4 Corvette ZR1, as seen in some of my other videos, I fell in love with this with that ZF transaxle. You know, that six-speed is awesome. I know a lot of guys are going to say they can buy and build a Tremec T56, and, you know, they can throw a whole lot of horsepower, you know, at those transmissions. And, you know, they're good transmissions, um, the T56 speaking, but I, there's just something about the ZF transaxle that's just, you know, it's a lot of fun. It's a great transmission. I highly recommend everybody to at least get out and check out a ZF transmission if you get the opportunity. I mean, these transmissions are truly amazing. They're durable, and if you get one built by ZF Dock, you know, someone mentioned about the McLaren F1 that it has that bolt rifle feeling, like you're locking and loading a, uh, a, a bullet into the chamber of a, of a rifle. And that's only been told about the McLaren F1, and I kind of disagree with that. Now, I have never driven a McLaren F1, but I have driven a few of ZF Doc's products, and it has that feeling of, you know, the lock and load into a bolt rifle when you're shifting in through gears. And that's what I love about these transmissions. It's a BMW designed transmission. And I think you get the best of both worlds. You get German engineering with American muscle, and there's just something special about that combination. Um, again, this car might be getting sold. Um, and if that's the case, I will be returning with either a better condition C4 or a C4 ZR1, which I'm highly considering, and I'll go into further detail with those later on in the future. But for now, this is my first video with this C4, and it'll most likely be my last video. If anybody has any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment box. Um, feel free to, you know, send me a message on it. Um, I'm also on Instagram as VF1 Skull Angel. I'm also going to start updating my Twitter. If anybody has any questions in regards to the OptiSpark, 
please let me know and I'll do what I can to assist you and maybe give you guys some pointers on how to do your OptiSpark replacement. All right, guys, it's a beautiful hot day here in Arizona. I've got to run, and I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for anybody looking into getting a C4 or if anybody's looking to decide what's a good performance platform for the money. And my honest opinion, it doesn't get any better than a Corvette, especially a C4. You can get these cars cheap. You can modify them, and they're, I think it's the best of both worlds. Whereas a Fox body, don't get me wrong, again, great car too, but I wouldn't feel confident going up against a Ferrari in a road course in a Fox body Mustang. Whereas this car, you name it, a Lotus, a Ferrari, a Lamborghini, I'd feel pretty confident going toe-to-toe -to -toe with one of those in this. Talk to you guys later.